RBGFM, locals talking to locals. Time to say good morning to Crispy, who's out on Transmission Gully with an update. Morning, Crispy. Morning, Nige. Yes, I'm with Mr. Jones. Me and Mr. Jones, or something. Uh, Simon Jones is actually the utilities manager for the project. Now, utilities manager, that's an intriguing um, title. It seems like it's not an overly big one, but I think it probably is quite a big job. Yeah, good morning. Yeah, it is a reasonably big job. I mean, the route for Transmission Gully has been used by a number of companies uh, previously for their infrastructure to go along. So we've got the main uh, gas supplies and water supplies into Wellington and numerous other smaller uh, utilities along the route. Extraordinary thought that Transmission Gully is actually a fault line. And here we have all of these really essential utilities running through a fault line, but that doesn't seem to have affected them that much. Yeah, it's one of the few routes into Wellington, but in terms of the design for the utilities, the uh, seismic requirements have been one of the, the huge uh, issues with the job and uh, yeah, making sure that everything that works and uh, is resilient and, and meets the seismic requirements. So um, off air, we were just chatting and, and you've actually been with the project for quite a long time. Yeah, I've been here for four years. So uh, when I started, I think there was uh, only nine or ten other people. So it's uh, grown uh, by a few hundred people <laughs> since then. So the requirement for you being here, so you, you've, you're in charge of all the things like water. So the Kapiti water supply has had to be rerouted as a consequence of transmission gulling? Yeah, that's right. It's the water supply for uh, Paikokariki, uh, the original water uh, treatment plant was in the route of the uh, motorway, so we've built a brand new uh, water uh, treatment facility or water filter plant um, adjacent to the motorway so that the uh, the old one could be uh, demolished. And it's amazing too how you can actually take a live gas main and rework it and not cut the gas supply. That must take quite a lot of working out and engineering. Yeah, that's um, pretty interesting stuff to watch. I mean, uh, for that one in particular, we have to keep the gas live at all times, so that involves uh, welding onto the live gas pipe and cutting into it and uh, putting new uh, valves and fittings and so on in. So, yeah, it's pretty impressive to watch, and the engineering behind it is quite interesting as well in terms of the gas flow going through it uh, being required to, to cool the weld, essentially. Uh, so the, the gas is actually uh, a pretty critical part of doing the work. So a flammable gas you use to cool where you're cutting with heat. Well, not cutting with heat, but where we're welding the fittings on, we are using the gas for as a coolant. It's just, it's just so clever. You know, amazing the, the, the technology that goes into this stuff. So um, as far as uh, things that, that people see that you've been actually involved with, I guess Paikakariki Water Supply is one of the biggest ones. Um, what were the, some of the trickier places that you've had to reroute water power or gas? Uh, it's all been fairly tricky with the terrain, but probably the biggest one overall is at Bridge 20, which is the biggest uh, bridge on the job. Uh, we've had about a kilometre long uh, gas relocation uh, that's involved very uh, steep terrain, uh, narrow tracks, uh, multiple stream crossings, uh, road crossings, so it's had a, a bit of everything. Wow, staggering stuff. And you guys are all on, on track. It hasn't happened, thrown up any major hurdles for you? Uh, utilities Works has been a huge challenge, but the majority of it's now completed. Uh, we've got two bulk water relocations left and a number of smaller bits and pieces, but the uh, the big stuff, so the big gas relocations, uh, are all complete. And Simon, one last thing. Um, you're also involved in the smart uh, signs and that sort of thing. Just what sort of things can we expect on the finished expressway that are part of your deal? Yeah, so we're going to have uh, a lot of technology along the road that will, uh, I guess, detect traffic and incidents and so on. So we'll have uh, variable message signs that uh, communicate to the public what's going on. Uh, we've got sensors in the road that can measure the, the amount of vehicles and the, the size and so on, which helps for planning maintenance. And we've got a number of uh, bits and pieces of equipment uh, to help detect incidents and alert uh, response crews uh, if anything does go wrong. What about cameras? Are there going to be many cameras along the new stretch of highway? Yeah, the plan is that there'll be uh, full coverage with cameras along the route, uh, so that's for uh, rapid identification of incidents and to help uh, plan responses to them. So it'll be a, a sort of a, a unique um, or a first for the Wellington region.
Fantastic stuff. There you go. Well, that's Simon Jones, who is the utilities manager for Transmission Gully. Thank you, Simon. And it's nice to talk to a Kiwi after all. Yeah, no problem. Good to meet you. Yeah, there's not many Kiwis that are in the management side of things because, of course, they all come from Australia because it's an Australian company that's spearheading this all, I do believe. But there's a ton of Kiwis out on the job. So nice to be with uh, Simon Jones this morning. So out and about at the Transmission Gully site in uh, Lane's Flat. I'm Chris for Beach FM 106.3. 106.3 Beach FM.